Christine Horn, and you are watching Actors Daily Bread. This is where I teach you how to crush your auditions, book more work, and live a life that you love. Ah, this is episode 198. Can you believe it? 198. Like, we're going to reach 200, like, any day now, and I'm super excited. I'm live on Instagram. What's up, Instagram? I'm live on Facebook. If this is your first time watching, please put one in the comments so I can welcome you. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the world of Actors Daily Bread. If you've watched maybe three, put three in the comments. If you're an OG member like Marilee, like Tony, like Dawn, like Chevalerie, right, put OG in the comments so I know that you are here. Represent your city. Say hi. Let's bring the, all the energy up. Look, I just got finished coaching my inner circle clients. Those are my VIP private clients. And so we're pumped up. We've been doing all this mindset work. Mondays, just so y'all know, is my personal therapy day. So I get like extra like cleansed and opened up. <laughs> so I'm like, here, let's kick it. Let's kick it. Um, this is episode 198. And I'm so excited. I want to talk to you about some things. Uh, listen to all my replay watchers who will watch this later. What's up? Replay watchers? Love you guys. Listen, you know, when I do that, I know a lot of you will comment. You send me DMs. You send me messages like, oh, Christine, I love when you like, what's up, replay watchers? I love you guys. I want you to take note that that is actually a lesson within itself. I talked to a lot of my Booking Magnet Academy students about pacing and being intentional about when you say something, you can speed up to slow down. And that kind of stuff is so juicy on television. And so, look, for the next uh, couple of months, well, month and a half, I can't. I can't believe 2020 is approaching. I'm just like, I'm not, I'm just not even, it is just happening way too fast for me. But I want to really keep focusing on television, 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 because um, that's where my focus is. That's where my sweet spot is. That's where I love, I love talking about it. You know, I went from having zero credits to now 57 and counting, 58, you know, and counting on IMDb. And I learned a lot in that time. And so I've been saying this on Instagram and on Facebook. Um, uh, what's up? <laughs> Oh, awesome. She said, I watched a handful of times. You were then you you were like a three. You're not OG yet. You're not OG yet. You're not OG like Stephanie Green, like Tony Hughes, like Jasmine Shanice, but you'll get there. Just keep hanging with me. Um, but listen, we are 63 days away from the launch of one of my brand new programs, Book More TV, like 2.0. Like that's gonna be really uh immersive and live. Shout out to Stephanie and Chevalerie who are on the line now, who already signed up for it in Atlanta ahead of time. But I'm I'm giving you this these nuggets now. And I'm giving you a heads up now to put a few coins aside because come right after January, January 2nd, don't be looking at me like, Christine, I didn't know. I'm trying to tell you now. Just put a few coins to the side because something wonderful is coming and I really want you to participate in it with me. Um, but today, I really, this is episode 198 of Active Daily Bread. First of all, happy Veterans Day to all my veterans, to my husband, my brother-in-law, my friends, my family, my cousin Jason, to all of you, my cousin. Um, uh, just, I have so much, <laughs> you don't realize how surrounded you are with people who have helped to just make our country what it is. And I'm so grateful for that. And I'm grateful for each and every one of you. So first and foremost, congratulations. Um, not congratulations, but thank you for, for your service. Um, but today I wanted to share with you some of the th <laughs> three the three biggest mistakes that I made, that I was making before I really started consistently booking television. And I'm curious to know in the comments, is there something that you're doing now? Is there something that you know for yourself Facebook and Instagram, I'm with you, right? And those of you who might listen to this on the podcast later, is there something that you think you're doing that is working but not converting? Or are you stuck in a feeling of, I don't know what I'm doing that's not book making me book? Or is it, oh, it's just this. So as you guys give a comment, I will give you my story. So, <laughs> you know, for those of you who are new to me, I'll give you a quick a synopsis of my story. Marilee says, oh, jizz. Marilee, I can't even pronounce that. Oh, jizzly. Oh, jizzle. I can't even. <laughs> I love my OGs. So um, 
Y'all would have to see what Marilee put on Facebook. Like, I know there are other people like, what is she talking about? But listen, you know, I come from a theater background. If you don't know, if you're new to me, I have always, I've been an actor for as long as I can remember. I started performing professionally when I was 16, uh, 15, 16 in Atlanta, Georgia, with the Freddie Hendricks Youth Ensemble of Atlanta, doing theater all over the town, traveling. And so that was my thing. And my big break, I'm using air quotes, my big break came in 2006 when I booked The Lion King. And I went on the national tour and I did The Lion King on and off for about five years. I did uh, both national tours. I did Broadway, Vegas. I even got to go to Germany to workshop the role. So I was very rooted in theater. Um, and and beyond Lion King, I did regional theater, Akron's Express, Alliance Theater, all kinds of stuff like that. So a lot of you may resonate with that, right? So one of the biggest mistakes that that I, as I look back and prepared for today and, and thought like, what do I wanna share with them? What, what would Mike actually make an impact? And maybe you can relate. The biggest mistake that I see that I made that you might be making is when a TV audition did come, whether I self-submitted on Actors Access or had an agent who submitted me, the biggest mistake I made was not performing for the right medium. And so if you're new to my world, when I say medium, I just mean theater is a medium. Television is, is, television is a medium. Film is a medium, right? Voiceover is a medium. Y'all with me? Picking up what I'm putting down? So if you're just bringing your voiceover skills to television, that's not going to work. If you're bringing your theater skills to film, that's not going to work. And so that's what was happening for me. I was performing for the wrong medium. So some of you may rec some, uh, recognize this. People say, you're too big. You're doing too much, right? Or, you know what I mean? Like, you're just not tapped in. So that was the biggest mistake, one of the biggest ones I was making. The second one was I wasn't dressing appropriately for the character. What I realized when I also did theater was theater was very um, was very you know direct in in what it was. If you're a doctor, you're all the way a doctor. It's full costume, right? If you're Victorian Victorian era, you know you know whatever it is, like you're fully into that era, fully shown up and. I didn't know how to translate that into television in a way that was subtle enough. So I was either doing, I was either team too much. I was team too much. I was like, oh, this is my scene is from the 1800s. And then you're like, let me get my garb from, you know, and then I'm team too much or I'm team not enough or I'm showing up to this audition that's set. Like imagine you have an audition for Harriet, the new movie that's out with Cynthia Revio, right? And you're showing up in jeans and a t-shirt like that's also not it's you don't that you're also not showing up the right way either <laughs> right so that was another big mistake i was i was making and you know some of you um some of you don't realize the impact that makes like being very intentional of of what your character is supposed to look like and feel like. And another big, and I see some comments and I'll come to them in a second, but if you're, you know, just hopping on, hey, it's Christine Horn, Actors Daily Bread, episode 198. Um, another uh, big mistake I was making before I started booking a lot of television, and I really have to think back, guys, you know, because, and I don't say this to be like, yeah, I just booked so much. I just really like, no, where was I? Like, what, what was my issue in 2000? <laughs> 14 in 2016 and these are some of the things and I see the comments on Instagram I promise to come to them another thing I'm trying to read my own notes what did I say oh <laughs> another big thing that I wrote down was that I was not connected to casting directors for television I was literally throwing spaghetti at the wall thinking that because I knew a casting director from a theater show I did or a print job I booked like that was enough like and maybe they would hopefully get me to where I wanted to go and I might have had an agent who was only a commercial agent or a modeling agent but I'm sitting there hoping that they send me out on TV auditions and that never happened. And so this really left me feeling <sighs> depleted, depressed, uh, untalented, that's a word, is that a word? 
you know, I just felt like I just don't know what I'm doing and no one is, no one is telling me anything different. Not even the representation that, <clears throat> the representation that I have. Um, have any of you been there? Any of you felt that way? Like you have a team, but your team isn't giving you the answers that you need. Um, Jasmine says, that's one of my issues in bringing straight film to TV. Yeah, film and television, they have totally different vibes. It's the same reason, this is stuff we're going to talk about when I launch Book More TV in January, is even TV <laughs> has different vibes based on the, on the network that you're messing with. It's just a different, it's a different medium. I'm gonna come over here to Instagram. Um, Chevalier says, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing or not doing that's preventing me from booking. Absolutely. And that's a weird place to be, feeling stuck in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> right? Like stuck in the middle of, uh, I don't know. <laughs> so that's something we're gonna work on uh, top of the year and book more TV, but um, it's important for you, I, the note I would give you now, Chevalerie, and for any of you listening, even the stuff you're not booking, take note of what you are doing. Take note of what you know you're doing. So that means, so here's your action step for tonight's video. That means, okay, I got this audition. The audition happens, maybe you book it or not. That's not the point. The question then is, what did I do today? How did I prep for this? Did I feel good about the prep? Did I feel good about how I looked? Did I feel good about what I wore? Did I feel good about how I arrived? You know, you do your own internal work. Make a note of it. You know, shout out to Cortland Vaughn Richard, who uh, her and her mom gave me this book at the top of 2019. Can you believe it? I'm about to get a new year. Um, but this is like my like ideas book. I mean, I have so many that I have my, I gotta get a new law of attraction um, calendar because this is almost over. But I have different books for different things. But this, I, this, the suggestion I have is to write down and do inventory. Tonight when I was talking to my inner circle clients, that's what we really talked about tonight, taking inventory on what happened. And that's the big step that I was missing before. That's a bonus for you tonight. I didn't take inventory on what worked and what didn't work. How did I know it worked? I felt good about it. Some of you are confusing if it worked with a booking. And I'm here to smash that dream today. I really want you to really sit in when it feels like it's working, when it feels like I'm doing a good job, that's when it's working. Not just did the casting director smile at the end or did the casting director say, oh my God, that was great. Honey, I live in LA. They be like smiling all day. That was amazing. And then crickets, you don't book it. So that cannot be your only judgment. So that's the tip I would give you, Chevalier, and anyone else who, who's listening and watching to find other things that let you know what you're doing. Literally taking note, come to these comments. Um, positively, R.I.E. says, I struggle with the last minute co-star auditions. Not enough time to run it a lot. I flub the line after they give me an adjustment. Well, because that's also not, that must mean you're not fully confident in prep. Uh, did you take my audition under pressure boot camp? If you did not, for those of you who struggle with auditioning under pressure, which is what you're saying, positively RIE, if you're not a member of our Facebook group, Hollywood Bound Actors, here on Facebook, it is a free group. And as soon as you join, you look in the units area and there's a whole the four-part series that will help you with that. Hi, Zipporah. Hi, Orlando. Um... Chevalier says, you're touching on all my concerns tonight. Reached out to my agent for a submission report and nothing. Oh, that's a side conversation. Um, yes, 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 yes. Okay. So yeah, uh, Jasmine says, that's how I'm feeling right now with my agent right now. So here's the deal. Um, you know, I try to very, keep it very transparent with you. I'm trying to think of the, I'm trying to be guided into the, best uh, way to express this. It's imperative that you take inventory. Claudus, my, one of my clients, is, he's on here too. We talked about this tonight. You have to take inventory. And this is the uncomfortable work. 
it's so easy to say, oh, I was so busy. I had my day job and I had this and I had the kids or I had my husband or I had, this, I had to cook dinner. I was in traffic and blah, blah, blah. And that's what's affecting me. But I dare say it's things that are deeper than that. And so you got to go deeper to the next level and take ownership until you take ownership of what you are not doing and where your blind spots are. It's really hard to get to your next level. Okay. It's really hard to get to your next level. So for me, I knew I was a talented actress like many of you. Hell, I had been on Broadway. I've been touring, making a full-time living as an actor. And then I got to LA and couldn't get a gig. For those of you who are new, who are new to me, if you don't know my story, left LA, went back to Atlanta to live in my mama's basement. What's up, Kimmer Luna? Right? To live in my mama's basement, to get my mind right, got a coach, delved into personal development, because I knew I had to deal with me. And the more I dealt with me, the more I could bring that into my characters, the more I could have my confidence grow. But I had to understand I was no longer working in the Broadway world. If I want to work on a screen this big, I had to work in that medium and understand how that works, the intimacy of that. A lot of you are missing that intimacy. And it's not just enough to be like, I have raw talent, that's good enough, no. Now, if you're a theater actor and you wanna go into multicam, doing Disney multicam shows, yes, that's the closest thing to theater. Other, other than that, you have to really dial it down. And it's really hard. I get the note that, is, that people say, just bring it down, you're too big. And I remember spending years like, what does that mean? Like, I don't think I'm too big, like I'm just emoting. But I had to really get with the coach and I had to really work on it, okay? So I'm just sharing with you some of my mistakes. And until I, and to recap, the first one, I was performing for the wrong medium, AKA I was too big. I was performing up for Broadway when I needed to be performing for Instagram for this camera. I wasn't dressing appropriately for the parts. This is why you guys gotta, st I always say, study and dissect the medium you wanna dominate. If you're not studying the medium you want to dominate, how will you dominate it? Because you gotta know where you get in, where you fit in. And again, I'm talking about all of this. I'm gonna dive deeper into this in January in my Book More TV course. But I wanna give y'all a head start now. And lastly, I just was not even connected to the power, connected to the power players that be for that industry, for that market. So I want you to also look at who you're targeting, who's, who's getting marketing from you, who is hearing from you. Look at what's happening in your city, in your town. Opportunities are abound. Are you reaching out to those people? Once I took note of that and inventory of that and started taking action and really strategic steps, I saw everything change. And you guys know this. You just saw me on Blackish, what? three weeks ago. I'll be on It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia on the 20th, right? Those of you who saw The Terminator, I'm in that. Like, I'm. this isn't to impress you, as Les Brown would say, but to impress upon you that the same is possible for you. But you have to take a moment and really be like, what do I need to do? Thank you for kicking it with me. Listen, Keep an eye out for the new course launching in January. But before then, if you just want my eyes, my expert eyes on what you're doing, on where your career is being stalled, if you want me to look at your self tapes, you want to help me get help you get a new agent, I'm offering fast track sessions. The link is in my bio. Instagram, just shoot me a DM. I'll send you more information. F Facebook, the link is above or below. There's a limit one per person. And I'm making space in my calendar. Y'all know if you've been following me for a while, I do not offer these throughout the year. So if I were you, I would take me up on it. All right, have an amazing night. I'm gonna sign off on Facebook first. Thank you for letting me be your coach, your mentor, your friend. If you've missed any part of this, the replay will happen. And come on over to YouTube and subscribe. Hey, Ernest, subscribe to my YouTube channel. There's over 200 and something videos there. And I would love, if you really appreciate the work that I'm doing here, if you appreciate the tips and the strategies you've gotten, it takes you two seconds to hit the subscribe button to show me some love. I really would appreciate it. All right? Thank you so much. Bye.